Kind of this opener feel compared to other ones? Yeah, you know, um, I'm not someone that really gets all that nervous. Uh, I've kind of said that. I mean, I, I do at times, but not really before games. And before the game, like, for some reason, like, I was just so excited to, you know, be back in Carver. I wasn't sure I'd ever be back. And uh, the nerves got to me. I think it happened to a lot of guys, uh, a lot of guys' first game in Carver. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm glad we battled through some adversity. You know, we really found our stride. Um, the defense was really good for a long stretch in the second half. And I'm proud of the way that, you know, a lot of guys contributed. You know, Drew was great. Price was great. I thought Cooper played really well. Um, and then, you know, we'll just continue to keep getting better. But, you know, it's, it's good that we had to fight through that. And, you know, we came out on top. What do you like about Price's game right now, the way he's playing? He's just, I, I love it when he's aggressive. And, you know, I've, it's something I had to talk to him about last year. And, uh, you know, in practice the whole summer and fall, he was just great. And, uh, you know, he really didn't shoot it that well um, tonight, uh, which, you know, it probably felt like he did. But I know he's going to be upset about it. But, you know, he played really good defense. He was everywhere in that press. Uh, he had a blocks. Um, you know, he, he's kind of a do-it-all player. You know, he was Mr. Basketball. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see him out there contributing. And he's going to have a, you know, a huge year. Drew really looked like a player that, I mean, you guys decided not to use. Like, <laughs> Yeah, you know he's a he's a winner, and that's that that's what his DNA is, and the game kind of goes from there. And uh, you know we needed a spark, um, you know, that you could say was a little tense in there, and he just came in and did what he does. You know he won, he made plays, he really sparked the game, and then from there, you know, we just took over. Uh, he was moving the ball well, um, and you know that that's what you want to get out of the portal is a veteran guy who's a great teammate and uh, knows how to win, and that's what he did tonight. Hey, you you kept him at arm's length, but it seemed like that full court press is really just kind of turning point of the game that really kind of separated. Just what was the energy like? And just how did you guys frustrate them with that press? Yeah, I, I think, you know, it started with us. Um, like I said, you know, people were just a little tense first game. And, you know, that really sparked the energy. Got the crowd going. Got a lot of our guys going, which led to, you know, on the offensive end, the ball's moving. You know, we're getting wide open threes, which are ones that you're going to make. Um, and, and to them, you know, it just it, it kind of put them on their heels. Um, you know, we kind of let them dictate for a little bit there, especially at the end of the first half, what they were doing on offense. But, you know, when you're doing that and uh, Drew's making plays and, you know, me and Owen on the back line with Josh and Price up there, it was, you know, a, a game changer. Is there anything said at halftime? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't great. But <laughs> 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 um, it, it was a lot of player-led. Uh, you know, we knew we had to be better. And um, in a lot of ways, you know, we were doing some good things. Uh, just weren't hitting shots, and you know they started falling, and we started rebounding. You know that's somewhere we really got to be better, and uh, it starts with me. I got to be better, and you know w once I started going, everybody else was going. I thought Owen did a great job on the glass. Lodge did a good job, um, but you know, yeah, halftime wasn't it wasn't great. <laughs> you, you mentioned the, the, the nerves. Was it? I mean, you feel like where you guys at just in terms of your cohesiveness and uh, like kind of at this point because it's obviously still early. Yeah, it's early, and uh, you know it's it's hard to get that game like feel of, of having the crowd uh, with a lot of guys first game you know being on TV and um, it, it's hard to simulate so you know as a team I'm, I'm really proud of the way that we have connected in this offseason I feel like you know, everybody loves each other everybody plays for each other and you know you really saw that in the second half with the ball moving and everybody making plays um, and you know it, it's hard to simulate but I'm proud of the way that the guys responded to you know the challenge today kind of an odd question Peyton, that you guys do have some feel like maybe defensively you missed Sadu tonight, at least at the start of the game when you mentioned, you know, the nerves and stuff were going on? Yeah, you know, he's someone that just goes out there and plays ball. Um, I, I don't think he'll be out that too long. I don't know what's going on. But, um, you know, he's a really good defender. He's physical. He, he protects the rim. He does a lot of good things. Um, you know, we're looking forward to getting him back. And, you know, he's going to be a huge difference maker for us this year. Hey, you lead the, the leader of the team. But, you know, you guys return a lot of experience. But you have a lot of new players that are going to be playing a lot of minutes. Uh, how do you kind of balance being patient with those newcomers, but also kind of holding them accountable to really kind of push them uh, to where you guys want to be. So how do you as a leader kind of approach that challenge? Yeah, it's a fine line. Um, you know, it, it's it's a tough jump from high school or even lower, you know, major basketball to, to this level. Um, so you just got to, you know, be patient with them, especially, you know, through the summer, which I thought we did a good job of. And now, you know, try to set a standard every single day. And, um, you know, a lot of that was set today. Um, you know, guys really stepped up their game in the second half when we had to. And now, you know, we can hold everybody accountable to that. So, uh, you know, I need a lot of leaders out there with me. Um, and I'm going to keep my voice going and, you know, keep everybody positive. You, you were close to a triple-double. It felt almost kind of quiet. <clears throat> um, just what are your thoughts on kind of what you did individually today? Um, I didn't know I was close, but, you know, I was just out there trying to win the game and, um, you know, mission accomplished. Zach, being more aggressive, what else have you noticed about Price this offseason? Like now that he's in a 
second year? Yeah, you know, he's he's now at the level where he's strong enough and athletic enough to, you know, really hold his own at this level. Um, it was always kind of a question mark. He always had kind of like a quiet strength, but, you know, he really put on a lot of weight. You know, people were trying to back him down today. He's just getting them out of the way, pushing them out of bounds and, you know, blocking them. Uh, you know, he's made huge strides on the defensive end. And I've always thought he was, you know, a really good defender. When we were at Waukee, he'd always have the toughest assignment even when he was a freshman. So uh, me and Tucker could kind of relax a little bit on defense. But, uh, you know, he, he's making strides to this level and being able to contribute. And, you know, I'm really proud of the way that he's elevated his game. Is that pregame nervousness maybe something to do with the, the defensive issues in the first half and to start the second half? Or would you say that's maybe something you guys are still trying to figure out right now? I think, um, you know, we really turned it up. I thought the talk and the communication was great in the second half. And it, was, it wasn't it was necessarily lacking in the first half. But, um, you know, you just kind of, you want to, I mean, how do, how do I say this? Like, w when you're nervous, you know, you can get short on breath. Um, a lot of guys, you know, deal with that. I've dealt with that in the past. It's something I've worked through. But um, when you get out on that floor, you know, the lights are bright and it's a little different. And, you know, you saw... I think you saw the way that it transitioned from the first half to the second half, how important that was, you know, the communication, which is a huge thing that we've been working on for a long time, and it's gotten a ton better, and it's going to have to continue to make huge strides if we're going to be successful. So this really was kind of emotional for you, playing, you know, your first regular season game? Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a long night last night. You know, I was nervous, um, you know, being in Carver and playing with my brothers out there is one of my favorite things in the world. So. Um, you know, being back is, it was a really, really special moment for me, you know, seeing my parents there again. Um, you know, there were some dark days in the, you know, last few months and um, just being back home and, you know, playing in front of the home state again was really special for me. Were you expecting them last one? Were you expecting them last I, I think I knew they were coming. Um, you know, it's a, it's a special, special thing to be able to play for your home state and, um, you know, to play with my family sitting courtside and play with my brother out there. and. Um, you know, it was it was overcoming me a little bit in the first four minutes, and coach pulled me. I was able to settle down a little bit, and now you know I'm just playing ball again. But um, you know, it was it, it's a special feeling, and you know I'm, I'm happy that I felt that way before the game.